good evening students in this lecture we are going to learn about euclid division lemma and uh, this lemma says given positive integers a and b there exist unique integers q and r satisfying a equal b q plus r where r is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to uh, less than b so this is what your euclid division lemma so first of all we need to understand what is the meaning of lemma lemma is what lemma is a statement it is what a statement which is used 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 to prove another statement this is what lemma true statement we can say this true statement so lemma is what lemma is a true statement used to prove another statement this is what lemma so your euclid's division lemma says given positive integers a and b suppose there are uh, two positive integers a and b so in this case there are two integers this is what your integers so th if there are two integers there exist unique integers q and r and this will satisfy this condition a equal b into q plus r what is meaning of this we will understand with example suppose we take a number a equal 20 so in this case we can write this 20 as 4 into 5 plus 0 why 0 because 4 5 is a 20 so 4 5 is a 20 plus 0 is what 20 we can write like this so in this case this 5 is what your q and this 0 is what your r now we will understand from where this q and r came so suppose if you divide this 20 by 4 here in this example your b is what your 4 so if you divide this 20 by 4 so 4 5 is a 20 4 five is a 20 now remainder is what 0 so in this case this is what your quotient and this is what your remainder so this q is what your quotient and this remainder is what this r so according to euclid's division lemma given positive integers a and b suppose your integer is what your 20 and b is what your 4 so in this case there exist unique integers q and r satisfying a equal b into q plus r here see we can see this this is what your equation this is a 4 is what your b this this is q plus r so for this two integers this is satisfying your euclid division lemma now we will understand with another example suppose uh, i take uh, 10 and 3 so this is what your 10 is what your a and this is what your b so for this two integers a equal 10 and b equal 3 there will be equation there will be q and r which will satisfy 10 equal what we can write this 3 into 3 that is 9 so for to be uh, 10 what is remainder 1 so 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 10 we can write like this so in this case this is what your a this is what your b this is what your q and this is what your remainder r now we will understand from where this q and r came now if you divide this 10 by 3 so 3 3 is a 9 so now remainder is what 
So, this is what your Q quotient and this is what your remainder. So, this is also satisfying your division uh, Euclid division lemma. I think you are getting this concept, try to understand this and we will see more example. Suppose I take a equal 12 and b equal 4. In this case, we can write this 12 as 4 into 3 plus 0. So, here this q is what your quotient and this 0 is what your r and this is what your b, this is what your a. See, this is satisfying your Euclid division lemma. We will uh, understand the statement. What it says, Euclid division lemma says, for given positive integers a and b, this integers can be any number, then any, any integer a and b, there exist unique integers q and r. This is what your question, this is what your remainder, this is nothing but division rule satisfying a equal b q plus r, where this r is greater than equal to 0 and less than b. Now, we will understand this statement. What is meaning of this? Suppose, we are taking two integers a equal 20. So, now in this case 20 we can write like 4 into 5 plus 0, we can write like 6 into 2 plus 8, 6 to the 12 plus 8, we can write like 20, 10 into 2 plus 0. So, in this three cases, we will check in which case this equation is satisfying your Euclid division lemma. So, according to a statement r must be greater than equal to 0 and less than b, this is what your equation. So, here b is what? In this equation b is 4, in this equation b is 6, in this equation b is what? 10 and here q is what? Your 5 and r is what? 0. For this equation q is 2 and r is 8. In this equation q is again 2 and q r is what? 0. Now, we will check uh, which statement is satisfying your Euclid division lemma and what is the uh, right value of q and r for Euclid division lemma. According to this situation, this condition your r must be greater than equal to 0 and less than b. So, b is what? 4 and here r is what? 0. So, this r is greater than equal to 0 and less than b. So, 4 is greater than 0. This remainder is what? Less than this 4. So, this is satisfying your Euclid division lemma. Now, if you check this condition, r is what? 8 r is greater than equal to 0. So, this is satisfying greater than equal to 0, but here b is what 6 and equation uh, your condition says r must be less than b. Here r is 8, b is 6. So, in this case your r is greater than b. So, this is not satisfying your Euclid division lemma. This is this case is not satisfying your Euclid division lemma. If you check this condition again r is what 0. So, r must be greater than equal to 0 this condition and r must be less than b less than b. b is what 10. So, 0 is less than your b. So, this is also satisfying your Euclid division lemma. So, this two condition is satisfying your Euclid division lemma and this is not satisfying this statement. So, your again your statement, we will see the statement. Given positive integers a and b, there exist, there exist unique integers q and r 
and this will satisfy this equation uh, where r is greater than or equal to 0 and less than b. This is what your Euclid division lemma. You must understand this. Your Euclid division lemma is helpful to find out the HCF of two numbers. This is used used to find out HCF of two numbers, two numbers. I hope that you are, you got it this concept. We will see with uh, more example. Suppose, uh, how we will find this HCF? Suppose, I am taking two numbers, find out HCF of 455 and 42. In this case, this is what your A, this is what your A, A is what 455 and B is what 42. So, what we will do? We will divide this 455 by 42. So, your uh, this will go 1 ja 42. So, 3, 5, now this will go 0 times, so 35. So, here quotient is what 10 and remainder is what 35. So, now our equation is what we can write this 455 a equal b 42 into 10 plus 35 according to your Euclid division lemma. Euclid division lemma. Now, we will take this b as a, this b as a. So, now 42, we can write this 42 as here is what your remainder, in this case we will take remainder here, b uh, your this is what b into 1 plus 7. Now, in this case this is what your quotient and this is what your remainder. Again, now we will take this 35 as a, a equal 35, so 35 equal 7 into 5 plus 0. Seven fives are 35. So, in this case, divisor, in this case, remainder is 0. So, whenever you got whenever you find remainder equal 0, then that value of that value of b is what your HCF. So, in this case 7 is HCF of your 455 and uh, 42. I think you understood this concept? Your Euclid division lemma is used to find out HCF of two numbers. So, what is the process? We will see this. Let me take one more example. Suppose, example 2, find out HCF of 4052 and 12576. This method is useful to find out HCF of large numbers. Here we have taken two numbers this and this. So, in this case your A is what 12576 and b is what 4052. So, now we can write these two uh, numbers in the form of Euclid division lemma, your a equal b into q plus r. Now, here we will find the value of q and r for that what we will do? We will divide this by this. 
so this will go three times this will go three times and your remainder will come 420 this will be q and your remainder will come 420 you can check this after division by dividing this so we can write 12,576 equal 4052 into 3 plus 420. This is satisfying your Euclid division lemma. You also check second statement R greater than or equal to 0 and less than B. Here B is what? This R is what? Less than B. So, this is satisfying your Euclid division lemma. This is what is step number 1. Step number 1. Now, what we will do? We will take A as this. Now, your A is what? 4,552. Now, 4,052 we can write like 420 into multiple of this 9 plus 272. And from where we get got this, you can find this 452 divided by 420. So, this will go 9 times and remainder will come this. Again, in next A will become 420. So, we can write this 420 equal 272. Always you have, you have to take your remainder. So, multiple of this 1 ja plus 148 this is also this is what your remainder this is less than this now your a is what 272 a is what 272 so 272 is equals to 148 into 1 plus 124 this is less than this now next step a equal 148. So, 148 equal 124 remainder into 1 plus 24. Now, your A will become 124. This is a repetitive method. Aapko kab tak karna hai? Jab tak ki aapka remainder 0 na a jai. So, now 124 we can write like 24 into 5 plus 4. Now, your A B is what? 24. So, we can write this 24 as 4, 4 into 6 plus 0. So, here we uh, got the remainder 0. So, in this case, in this case, your remainder is what? 0. So, the value of B value of B is HCF answer. To find out HCF of 12,576 and 4,052, this is bigger number, we are using Euclid division lemma. And this is what repetitive method. Remainder zero na ho jaye. This is the repetitive method, and you have to do the same process until you get remainder zero. Once you get the remainder zero, the value of B in that form is what your HCF. In this case, here B is what four, so this four is what HCF uh, for this two number. Understood? I hope you are getting. So, try to solve, find out the HCF of uh, another number in exercise 1.1, exercise 1.1, there are numbers exercise 1, 2 and 3. In question number 1, there are 3 questions, try to solve, that is what your homework and send it to me and then we will move forward. Thank you.